Hey guys, this is John with Walkthrough Code. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to deal with asynchronous actions in Redux. Um, there are a couple of different major, or there's three different ways that people generally do it. The first one is through this thing called Redux Thunk. Another one is Redux Promise Middleware, and another one that's kind of um, newer and more experimental. It's called Redux Saga. Um, and it's observable based and things like that. We're not going to talk about that in this particular video because that's a whole series in and of itself. But we're going to we're going to use Redux Thunk um, and br mention briefly about Redux Promise Middleware. Um, anyway, so these things are generally uh, referred to as um, Redux side effect libraries, um, and what what basically what they're doing is they are allowing. Um, so let's let's take a look actually. So if we go to action here, we we're synchronously um, returning something which is easily accessible here. But the problem is is that if you were to add, if you were to return a promise, that would cause an issue because then this reducer would fire bef uh, immediately after, and nothing will have resolved. So it's it would just all go um, and break, uh, or just straight up not work for that matter. Um, so it, by adding thunk or Redux promise middleware, we can allow it to take a promise and fire everything in the right order. So first things first, let's um, let's install. Um, so we'll say yarn add Redux thunk thunk. The the nice part about thunk is that actually you can you can use it to dispatch things that are um, uh, that are both synchronous and asynchronous, so you can maintain a um, a consistent pattern through throughout your code. So the first thing that we're gonna um, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and create another set of um, actions and reducers and stuff. Um, so let's let's just see if we can output a list of of users or something. We'll we'll, we'll kind of see what happens here. Um, so we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it users.actions, oops, actions.js. And I'm going to say uh, export const, let's say uh, fetch users equals uh, fetch, fetch users, users. Um, and then we'll say export const um, get all users equals an error, uh, an arrow function, and then okay. Um, let's let's just restart this again, um, and then. What's going to happen here is we don't need a parameter for this. Um, we don't need a payload, or we need a payload, but we don't need a parameter there. Um, the way to use Redux Thunk is we need to return a function, and what this function is going to do is it's going to dispatch the action that needs to be dispatched. R rather than returning an action itself, you're returning a function that after everything is resolved properly, it um, it will um, it will it'll go to the reducer and everything will have what it needs in the proper order. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to say um, dispatch and then we're going to dispatch an action. Um, so we're going to dispatch fetch user. So we're going to say type um, uh, type of which I'm going to call it type of fetch users. Actually, let's let's do this. Um, and then our payload. Actually, I totally forgot. We need to actually make the call first. Um, we could use async, and that might be okay. But eh, 
Yeah, we'll come back. We'll we'll just do it through a dot then way. Um, so we'll say um, fetch. You could also like Axios is totally fine. Um, commonly commonplace that's used, but we can use fetch too. Um, fetch HTTP. You know what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this JSON placeholder dot dot com. I'll put this in the description, but they have all this stuff that you can call. Like we have these forward slash users, and that's going to give us 10 users, which is great. So that's what we're going to use. Um, okay. And so now this we need to say dot then. Uh, we're going to say response is res. Uh, then we need to turn this into JSON. And then we're going to say uh, dot then and then data or actually maybe we'll say users and then here is where we will and this is, looks all weird oh man yeah, I'm just going to rewrite this this is driving me crazy return this is this is for the dot then Okay, um, so then here, here's where we're going to dispatch, um, and then we're going to say uh, type of fetch, fetch users, and then what we want to have is the payload is the users that we have turned into a, to a readable JSON. Um, so we'll say payload is users. Um, Okay, so now let's go to reducers. We'll create a new file. We'll call it uh, users.reducers.js. Here we will say um, import uh, fetch users from dot dot slash actions users.actions export or actually we'll say let initial state equal an array uh, then we'll say export const or sorry export default default and then this is going to take two parameters it's going to take our initial uh, state which we'll set initially with that We'll say action uh, switch. Oops, switch action dot type, and then we're gonna say case of um, fetch users. We want it to uh, return. Uh, action dot payload, and I think I think that'll work. And then, oops. And then what we'll do from here is we'll have our default that will return state. So this is no different than it was than anything we've done before. Um, from this perspective, because the because the big thing about the 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 thunk middleware is it stops the reducer from running until everything has already been uh, resolved. So the way that we handle the reducers, we can handle it as if as if it already has has resolved. Um, and then we need to go to reducers index. We need to import users from users reducers. Then we can just go down here and add this because we are now we're putting another another thing on the state um, and let's so now that we've done that we don't need to go into this we do need to go into the store because we need to uh, because this is a middleware we need to say import um, uh, import thunk middleware from Redux thunk, and then we'll just change 
uh, this to thunk, or we'll add Redux uh, thunk middleware. I've also seen people who have said uh, let middlewares equal an array, and we'll say a logger and thunk middleware, and then here they'll just say middlewares. Um, you could totally do it like that. I I just I, I think until you get too many for it to be even attractive, it's it's just extra code. Um, um, let's actually do that. Uh, I think we're I think we're all set now. Um, all we need to do is go into our app file, and then what we'll do is we will just have. Um, um, let's say com uh, component will mount. Actually, let's say component did mount. Did mount. Um, and then we need to import the fetch function. So we'll say get, what is it? Get all users or something. Get all users. Get all users from actions, users.actions. Then we need to go down to our list of uh, actions we need to dispatch. And we'll say, we'll add another one. We'll say, um, get all users, bind action creator. So allow us, or bind this to uh, uh, props for us. Then we'll say, um, Take the fun the get all users function that we imported, and then give it the ability to dispatch. So now, if we if we console dot log this dot props, then we should be able to see the get all users. Cool. So now we have that, and what we're going to do, I mean, this isn't normally, like, it, it depends on how you want to build it, but we're just doing this for example's sake. Generally speaking, you could you could put it in index.js and then call this as a method of the store, but let's not focus too much on that. Um, let's just call this function to get everything to... Um, uh, to work for us. So let's say this dot props dot uh, what did we call it? Get all users. Oops. Get all users. And then so when this fires now, now notice here that we have any users so an array of y user uh, oh, 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 oh. So we have an array of an array of 10, and that's obviously not what we want. What we want is, yeah, we want to take everything in that array and then put it in this parent array. So let's try that again. Okay, cool. So now we have a users and, and a, a user, an array of 10 users. So let's, um, let's put that on the screen. Um, let's get rid of all these other things um, here so we want to map this new list of users we'll say users and map state.users to this property of uh, the props um, and then we will put this down here we'll say list of users and we'll make this users list. Um, let users list equal this dot props dot users dot map. So user create a list item with maybe user dot we have access to user, we'll just say user.name. Dot name. And then we'll put a key of their ID. So key equals user.id. Um, uh, 
and we'll see how that works. Cool. So that's pretty much how you deal with this. I mean, the same the same goes for like post requests and all the you know everything like that. Um, the big the the really only the place that you need to make any changes is in the actions file on how you dispatch things. You could totally use this to dispatch just a regular, um, a regular thing too. For example, like if we wanted to say um, export const add user um, add user um, we could just have another we'll say export const add user equals at whatever and then we'll say um, new user and then what we can just do here is we can just um, return dispatch and then um, all we'll have to do is just dispatch, come on now, dispatch, uh, dis dispatch, and auto. so type of add, uh, add user, and then um, a payload of new user. So this this is just the synchronous version of this. It'll work just the same. Um, and it's it's really it's really useful in that way. Um, what did I say add to do? Why do I have that up there? That's weird. Um anywho so so yeah, I mean, Redux Thunk is great. Um, I really like it. I, uh, Redux Promise Middleware will basically let you just return um, an actual promise itself. Like, Anywho, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, just a, r a small little recap. We just added uh, Redux Thunk in our store. Um, we also added it in our actions file, but we didn't need to put it anywhere else because that's those are the only places uh, where it mattered. The nice part about Redux um, uh, Redux Thunk is that you can use it for both synchronous and asynchronous actions. Um, and it's, it's honestly what most of the companies out there use. Um, uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, totally leave them in the comment section below. Um, please like and subscribe so you can uh, so you know when I'm releasing new content and um, keep studying hard guys it, it definitely it'll come over time and the frustration um, intuition will definitely come um, anyway uh, have an awesome day thanks so much